For your glory and your strength Honor you, Lord As we stand whole in your name This is Luke Wareham. I'm a singer-songwriter based in Bristol. Join me on Be Inspired with Shoggy Tosh this Thursday. You can't afford to miss this. Keep on being inspired. inspired. Just play the music. We, we live the music. FM. Entertainment that inspires. Summer's come, summer's go. Winter's come, spring falls. Morning comes, evening goes. Be inspired with Shaggy Touch. Listening to Shaggy Touch on Salt FM UK, yeah. From the UK to Nigeria and across the world, this is Be Inspired with Shoggy Tosh on AEG Radio Network, AP Radio UK, Angel of Melody International Radio, and Salt FM UK. Keep on being inspired. I don't know where I'm going, but I know that you've known all along. Hey, this is Aledo Ibe, singer-songwriter. Keep on being inspired.
If you haven't heard it yet, it's new to you. New music first. First. Soul FM. Never sounded so good. Yo, 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 yo. You know this is your boy, Lando D. This is Tosin Oyelakin. This is Annette B. It's all today's music. Hey, guys. It's your girl, Melissa Winter. No better place on the radio. Salt FM. Keep the station locked on. Locked on. To you, new music first. First, Salt FM.
fire we played two brand new songs to open this show the beans by Wishagatosh show all the way from our Abbeywood London studio going over to our London studios in London Bridge then we fly to Edinburgh in Scotland and then to Leeds and then we branch to Bradford where we quickly check what's popping in Blantyre Malawi over to Kampala in Uganda and then New Jersey in the United States of America not forgetting Detroit in Michigan then Fort Campbell and then Maryland, not forgetting Kentucky as well, Atlanta, Georgia in the building in the USA. We finally land in Nigeria and we welcome you to Be Inspired with Shogitosh on Salt FM UK, the station that spices your world with a word. And all majesty belongs to you. And that is a brand new one from Noah Robinson called You Are Unrivaled. And we open the show with another brand new song from the mobile nominated superstar Olaido eBay called Manifest. Two brand new songs for you wonderful people. We are rocking right now on a good number of platforms. But before I get into that, and don't forget we have a special guest today, Luke Warham, all the way from Bristol in the United Kingdom. We need to thank our Father for today. My Father, I thank you. I bless you, I thank you, because you are holy and forever. You are my God and you are our God. Thank you for being with us, even though we've been through, but we're still here by your grace. Let your name be exalted in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh yes, we are broadcasting right now by God's special grace in Europe via Salt FM UK London, AP Radio in Bradford UK, MZ Radio in London, Heart Song Life Radio in Scotland and UN1TY in United Kingdom. Not only are we in Europe, we are blessed to be in the continent called Mother Africa. Oh yeah, we are vibing on EI Radio in Blantyre, Malawi, the Bond Radio in Kampala, Uganda. And not forgetting, see tunes in Lagos State, Nigeria. We are in the U.S. on these wonderful platforms. AEG Radio Network in Atlanta, Georgia. Battle Axe Radio in Maryland. WPGN Radio Atlanta, Georgia. WGKP FM in New Jersey. Angel of Melody International Radio Station in Detroit, Michigan. And Throne Connection Radio Station in Fort Campbell, United States of America. And don't forget that we are live on Twitter, live on Facebook. So please show us love. Greetings to all of my wonderful Facebookers and tweeters. <laughs> I thank you for your support. I really appreciate you. Uh, yeah, we've been busy. God has been, he's been blessing us. And I'll share a little bit more with you a little bit later on. But in the meantime, let's just cool everything down by playing a hymn. I love this hymn. It's called The Old Rugged, Rugged Cross. Old Rugged Cross. This one is by Uriel Vega from the United States of America. But this one is just instrumentals. I'm sure it's something different and something that you're going to vibe to. Uriel um, currently resides in, the, in San Diego, California, and he has been playing the saxophone since the age of 10. He quickly developed his talent as he recorded his first R&B jazz album entitled Expressions at the age of 17. Let's enjoy this. After that, we enjoy the audio Bible, Psalm 60, the message version. And we're going to enjoy the word of God from my mentor's daily devotion, dubbed Zero to Hero Daily Devotional by Reverend Tim Omotosha. Today's devotion is entitled 
be filled. May, may we be filled in Jesus' mighty name. And after that, I'll bring some more good goodies to you. Don't go anywhere. You are on Be Inspired with Shoggy Tosh. Psalm 60, a David psalm, when he fought against Aram Naharaim and Aram Zobah, and Joab killed 12,000 Edomites at the Valley of Salt. God, you walked off and left us, kicked our defenses to bits and stalked off angry. Come back. Oh, please, come back. You shook earth to the foundations, ripped open huge crevices. Heal the breaks. Everything's coming apart at the seams. You made your people look doom in the face, then gave us cheap wine to drown our troubles. Then you planted a flag to rally your people, an unfurled flag to look to for courage. Now do something quickly. Answer right now, so the one you love best is saved. That's when God spoke in holy splendor. Bursting with joy, I make a present of Shechem. I hand out Succoth Valley as a gift. Gilead's in my pocket, to say nothing of Manasseh. Ephraim's my hard hat, Judah my hammer, Moab's a scrub bucket. I mop the floor with Moab, spit on Edom, rain fireworks all over Philistia. Who will take me to the thick of the fight? Who'll show me the road to Edom? You aren't giving up on us, are you, God? Refusing to go out with our troops? Give us help for the hard task. Human help is worthless. In God, we'll do our very best. He'll flatten the opposition for good. When we sin against God, we stink. We are excited to bring you another daily encouragement from the Zero to Hero Daily Devotional. Today's message titled Be Filled was written by Rev. Tim Omitoso. Daily reading is taken from Numbers chapters 1 and 2, and Revelation chapter 14. 
and the memory verse is from Ephesians chapter 5 verses 17 and 18. Wherefore be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. And be not drunk with wine, wherein is excess, but be filled with the Spirit. Why does God want us to have the nine gifts of the Holy Spirit? Why nine gifts? It is God's vocabulary, because of his divine modus operandi. The best language we use when speaking about the Holy Ghost is, filled. If we are not filled, we do not have the Holy Spirit. We are only speaking in tongues. Yet, the devil speaks in tongues too. In a car, there is an oil gauge to check the oil level and there is a rod with a line indicating what the level should be. This scenario relates to the spirit. Before we can operate in the supernatural, we need to check our gauge. When we fall and are still thinking about the sin committed, we limit our being filled. The oil goes down then. We can cover our sins but people will know that things are different, as we would no longer be the same. When traveling on a long journey, we have to ensure we have extra oil especially if there are no garages and petrol stations en route. In comparison, the Holy Ghost is the preparation for our journey to heaven. We cannot walk this journey alone nor trek on this narrow way alone. We need the help of the Holy Spirit. When the Holy Ghost comes, he does with the nine gifts which represents pregnancy. However, there are many stillborn babies in the realm of the Spirit and many aborted visions in the church today. There are also many miscarriages of vision because people just want to preach without being filled before they do so. Moreover when brethren come for assistance, they lack answers. We need to be filled and led by the Holy Ghost through the gifting. Now let us pray, call the blood of Jesus three times, his name once and pray, Lord, make me your friend and put your spirit in me, in Jesus' name. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the name of Jesus. Father Lord, I thank you for today. I bless your holy name. Lord, make me your friend. Make me your son. Make me your friend indeed. And put your Holy Spirit in me so that I can do your will, so that I can lift your name high. So that, Lord, I will not be tired on the way in this journey. This prayer is not just for me, but for all of my listeners and viewers. Lord, do this for us. Even Luke Warham, our guest as well today. Lord, do great things because we trust in you. Thank you, our Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen and amen. And today's word of wisdom again reads as follows, When we sin against God, we stink, by Tim Omatoso. Now oh, come on and tell me that wasn't fire. The word of God is beautiful. I hope you enjoyed that wonderful daily devotion of my mentor and team. Omotosh, and once again, that was entitled, Be Filled. Right about now, we just want to bless our God. As you know, on this wonderful platform, we always like thanking our Father in the secret and in the public. And he's done great things for us. We bless him. We bless Jesus. We bless the Holy Spirit. And we thank you as well for your support, for your votes, for your love that you've been showing us. Never ending. Right about now, we... I want to share some great news with you. Some of you would have seen it on the social networks already. But um, let's relieve how we won three awards for this show. Be inspired with Shagitosh, two awards from the United States of America in Atlanta just a few days ago. And also, uh, me uh, winning the best presenter. We're actually the presenter of the year. Did you guys want the best presenter? My <laughs> correction. Presenter of the year. That's the TMMP Awards, the Media and Music Platform Awards. So let's enjoy this live as if you were there and then i'll show you the trophies for those who are viewing on our video i'll be right back hello my name is ari janelle from real music records and i'm here to present the winner for the international radio host of the year the praise factor award season 14 finalist for international radio host show of the year Santoria Black, Weekend Praise Party. Rika Nadine, a.k.a. Nene, Sippin' Tea with Nene. Shaggy Tosh, Be Inspired with Shaggy Tosh. Carissa B, Life Talk Radio Show. And the winner is... Shaggy Tosh, Be Inspired with Shaggy Tosh. <laughs> Congratulations from season 14 of the Praise Factor Awards. Lisa Tyree, owner of the Branding Spot Networking and Marketing Agency. And I'm
and I'm here to introduce the winner for the International TV Show Host of the Year. The Praise Factor Awards Season 14 finalist for International TV Show Host of the Year, Rika Nadine, a.k.a. Nene, sipping tea with Nene. Shaggy Tosh, be inspired with Shaggy Tosh. Daryl Gates, Daryl Gates Gospel Interviews. Stan Shaw Cornelius, So Arise TV. And the winner is Shaggy Tosh, be inspired with Shaggy Tosh. Congratulations from season 14 of the Praise Factor Awards. All right, on to our next category. Wow, Lady T, listen, this is one of my favorite oh? categories. In the, is I don't it? Know if, am I being unfair? I don't know. Well, all Maybe we'll my, see. All, all the categories are my <laughs> favorites, okay, for all of you that are watching, okay? <laughs> so, the next category is the best radio presenter. Wow, best radio presenter. What do you think? I think it's good. I don't know what to say after that because I just lost. I don't know where you were going to go with that. I really don't. Cause... It's so simple. You know, just get the mic, you know. Hey, this is Eric Reverence from Reverence Radio Network. You know, what can I say? Yeah, yeah. Anyway, let's, let's just carry on. Nah, let's please. Just let's, just, let's just roll the, the, no, the nominees. Of course, absolutely. Who's, who's, who's presenting it? Yeah, and here to present Unbound PR. Hi, good evening, everyone. I'm Shereen from Unbound PR, and I'm a very proud sponsor of the TMMP Awards. Today, I will be presenting the best radio presenter, the nominees are Dave P DJ Brother Charles DJ H DJ Proclaimer Aloha Ephema Gospel Kid Ibe Giant Killer Moira Shoggy Tosh Theo Manderson Lady T And the winner is Shuggy Tush. Congratulations, Shuggy Tush. Well done for all that you do within the kingdom. It's a very well-deserved award. So congratulations to you. Well, uh, this means so much. I'm so excited. This is the first award post-COVID. Um, I mean, just being here and being alive, alone, feels like an award and... Wow, um, best radio presenter. I just started radio four years ago, and I have to mention my mentor, who inspired me, Reverend Timo Motosho, to go for this. And also DJ Jide, who, according to the government, is blind, but he can see more than me. He's trained me and showed me all that I know in radio, and I really thank God for this wonderful award. So heavy, but yeah, no complaints. And big up to the TMMP Award. Thank you guys for what you're doing. I really love what you're doing and more grace in Jesus' name. And I just want to encourage anyone, everyone watching and listening, you can do this as well. If you're young and you want to do presenting, it's the best job. Don't listen to what anybody else says. You can do it as well. Wow. God bless. Woo! A massive, massive congratulations to the main man himself, Mr. Shogi Torch. Listen. He scooped every award, even in the universe and all the galaxies. This man is scooping all the awards. I don't know what to say, Lady T. Is there such a like, is, is there such a thing of collecting galaxy awards and universal awards? And I guess well, he's the man. He wins. Listen, everything I can even hear it. it. Look, they, they say what? Mm. <laughs> oh, what was that? Yeah. <laughs> From London to Lagos, you're listening to Be Inspired with Shoggy Tosh on EI Radio. Heart Song Live Radio. Mana FM. MZ Radio London. Arm Radio. Battle Axe Radio. And Salt FM UK. Keep on being inspired.
songs of our guests that we're having in a few minutes. This one is called Refuge by Luke Wilhelm and I got to meet him at the GX Awards where we scooped, I scooped two awards uh, Afrobeat Artist of the Year and also we won the Best PR and Media Publication of the Year for Toshmark PR. Congratulations to DJ Jide who won the Best Presenter of the Year and he also won for Mana FM UK. That's the Best Radio Station of the Year. Not forgetting Louisa who scooped two awards with the Touchmark PR, so she got three awards as well. We thank God for all what God is doing. Okay, right about now, uh, we are rocking this song. I'll let you hear, but uh, in the meantime, for all of our wonderful viewers, these are the trophies. So this is for the best international radio host and show of the year, Be Inspired with Shaggy Tosh, all the way from Atlanta. That's the Prince Factor Awards Season 14 trophy. And also this one as well. That's the best international tv host and show of the year so in in actual sense we won four awards <laughs> as the best radio host best radio show best tv show and best tv host internationally and that's a season 14 for the praise factor awards in atlanta georgia thank you so much for your votes thank you so much for your support and thanks to the praise factor awards as well and the board that deemed us fit to win these awards the praise factor awards in atlanta georgia and last but not the least, this is a present of the year trophy from the Music Media Platform Awards. Present of the year, I really bless God for everything that God has done. DJ won the best presenter and I won the best radio presenter. Actually, let me say the truth. Looking at the trophy now, he says the best radio presenter. I know that's going to cause some issues, but we know that the person that won the last best presenter is DJ Jide, by the way. We bless God, we thank God for all what God is doing and we give God all the glory. Let's enjoy the remainder of Refuge by Luke Wilhelm. We're going to break and when we come back, we'll bring the main man in the building. Go nowhere. We'll be right back. Souls FM. Hey, this is Rasheed Walker. And I am Melanie Sadler. And, and we, we are inviting you to the 7th Annual Antigua Barbuda Gospel Music Awards. At So Arise Music International Prince 10, we are divinely positioned to make a global game. Oh, yeah. And guess what? We're hosting. So you don't know it's going to be fire. So watch it live on Sir Arise TV on Saturday, October 23rd. Look out for the Saudi Sound Pre-Show and of course the Music Awards. Plus live performances by Fortune Angelo, Nigel Lewis, Dr. Sudi, Javier Jeremy and much more. I can't wait. See you real soon, October 23rd, 2021. Scalpel. Scalpel. Suction. There's a bleeder there, doctor. Suction. Cautery. Thank you, nurse. You're welcome, sir. Clamp. Suture. Mayo scissors. That's pretty good work, doctor. Well, that should do it for his appendix. Would you like me to close him up? No, no, let's take a look around. Doctor? Well, he didn't need his appendix. Gotta be other stuff he doesn't need, like this thing. Doctor, that's his kidney. Yeah, uh, he's got another one. And this, why on earth anyone needs a pancreas, I'll never know. Doctor, I think that was important. Nah, he'll never even know it's gone. And this is ugly. That doesn't mean it's not important. Ooh, and look, I doubt he needs this. Whoops. My bad. Uh, nurse, you, uh, 
Want to sew that up quickly? Ever feel like you're not important? God made you, and that makes you important. Another message from Lifeline Productions, the comic strip of radio at lifelinepro.com. Wash your hands, avoid sick people and touching your face. There are everyday actions to help prevent the spread of respiratory diseases. Visit cdc.gov slash COVID-19. Brought to you by the National Association of Broadcasters and this station. And now, back to more gospel and inspirational vibes on Your Soul FM. Shaki Tosh in the building and it's time to celebrate our partners with the inspiration from God. That is, be inspired with Shaki Tosh and we really thank God for these wonderful partners who help us to spread the gospel, great music, great content and all what we do on our platforms to the whole wide world. Shout out to Heart Song Live Radio in Scotland, WGKP FM in New Jersey, USA, Throne Connection Radio in Kentucky, USA, Battlelax Radio in Maryland, USA, and MZ Radio in London. Over to C Tunes in Nigeria, WPGN in Atlanta, USA, AEG Radio in USA, that's Atlanta, Georgia, WFSC, Kentucky, USA, and Live Radio in Fort Campbell, USA. We love you long time. We are blessed to be on Fit FM, 96.7 FM in Trulani, Jamaica, Angel of Melody International Radio Station in Michigan, USA, Salt FM UK, Mana FM UK, and UN1TY, the TV platform based in the Kingdom of Mama Charlie, also known as United Kingdom. And now we pop over to Indiana in the USA, the Still City Gospel Radio Station, The Bourne Radio in Uganda, AP Radio in Bradford, UK, C Stage Radio in South Carolina, USA. And we bless God for our partners in Malawi, that is EI Radio in Blantyre, Malawi. Not forgetting So Arise Radio in Antigua and Barbuda and even many more other platforms. God bless you. Be inspired with Shogitosh and we celebrate you. Thank you for helping us to spread the gospel to the four corners of the world. Salt FM. It's Shogitosh in the building. From the UK to Nigeria and across the world, this is Be Inspired with Shoggy Tosh on WPGN Radio. Throne Connection Radio Station. Radio WPGN FM. WFC Radio Station. And Salt FM UK. Keep on being inspired. Oh, I am weak, Lord, you are strong in the shadows of my life. Through the trials that may come. This is Luke Wareham. I'm a singer songwriter based in Bristol. You're listening to Be Inspired with Shoggy Tosh. Keep on being Keep inspired. On being inspired. <laughs> of our God Oh, His mercies never fail How good is He? He saves Oh, He rescues He redeems Oh, His grace says kept is free Be inspired How with Shaggy Tosh Keep on being inspired
Come on, I wish I could pull that back again. Look, you're dangerous, man. You look gentle. I, I met this wonderful brother of mine at the GX Awards just um, a few weeks ago. And obviously, he was on the stage, so he, you know, suited up. <laughs> and uh, and you would know that he's dangerous. He's dangerous in a good way. <laughs> that <laughs> was fire, you know. There's some songs that when you just listen, listen to it, you can't help but just worship God. You can't help but praise God. And as you know, we go through so much. The pandemic, you know, has been ravaging all, all over the world. And even before the pandemic, you know, people are depressed, people, you know, killing, them, killing themselves. There's a lot of horrible things going all over the world, but we take refuge in Jesus Christ. And we need songs like this. We really need songs, spirit-filled songs that will force you to worship God, even if you don't want to. If your situation is telling you, like, you know what, no, I'm not in the mood. Before you know it, you know, you're honoring God. Before you know it, you're, you're saying he's worthy to be praised and... Um, I love this song, man. <laughs> I was vibing to it. How are you doing, my brother? Yeah, good. It's so great to meet you. Wow. Um, the other week at the JX Awards. Yeah, yeah. That was, that was great, man. That was great. Look, guys, uh, let me interview, introduce you to this wonderful man of God, Luke Warham. Uh, with, we're brothers, except uh, the only issue we have is the uh, teams that we support, the football teams that we, that we support. He supports uh, Man United, same as my producer, and I support Chelsea. And, and they, they beat us, um, I think, a season or two seasons ago. They beat us 4-0 at Old Trafford. I, I remember that defeat. And um, we tried to get them back and they tried to get us back. But we're going to put football aside and just <laughs> <laughs> celebrate this wonderful brother of mine who I got to meet at the GX Awards a few weeks ago. Luke is a worship leader. He's a songwriter based in the southwest of the UK. And he loves, you can see from the song, right? He loves leading worship and drawing people to Jesus Christ and seeing people changed through worshiping him worshiping God. So, uh, look, um, I'll let you greet your wonderful listeners and viewers before we ask what inspired this song that we just rocked about now. Over to you. Yeah, yeah. How's everyone doing? Um, thanks so much for having me on, Shoggy. Um, yeah, um, I just love writing songs that speak into people's everyday life situations. Um, that's why I write worship songs, really. Um, songs that speak truth and hope into people's everyday lives, as you were saying. And um, yeah, I've got a real heart and passion for helping people encounter Jesus through everything, really. Like, um, through, but particularly through songs and wow. writing worship songs. Wow, I'm amazing. So you're a songwriter, you write your own songs. Yeah. Yeah, I am. Yeah, I'm a songwriter. Um, I've been doing songwriting for probably about, um, you know, a good seven, seven or eight years now. Wow. And um, I love doing it. Um, I started off not thinking I was very good at it. And, um, you know, you just you get in, you get into get into the swing of it. And um, I actually went around my friend, um, Rachel Mason, who I've done a lot of collabing with um, yeah. House a few years ago. And I played her a few worship songs and she was like, oh, um, they're really good. We should get them produced. So um, wow. that's the wow. my songwriting produ um, journey. She's a great worship leader herself, and she does a lot of songwriting and um, writing with um, you know secular worship songwriters and worship songwriters. And she said to me, you, "You should release these these worship songs." And so we've ended up um, releasing songs. So over the last couple of years, I've ended up releasing an EP and loads of singles, wow. and I've got a real bug for it. So um, yeah, that's what I'm. I, I love doing that, and um, I learned guitar when I was eleven. Um, I'm 28 now. Eleven, just wow. so I could play guitar at church, and it's, the journey started then. Amazing, amazing. And you're talking about Rachel, who was on the stage with you, with you as well yeah. at the Jex Awards. Yeah, Rachel, Rachel Mason. She's a really good friend of mine. Wow. Um, we really worship together, and we had an EP called Whisper come out together. And she's just an amazing um, person, and an amazing musician, and an amazing songwriter. And yeah, uh, Rachel's great. 
Wow. Yeah, Rachel, man. I love her smile. She has this smile that lightens the whole <laughs> yeah. room. And I love her blue hair as well. Obviously, I support Chelsea. Blue is a color, so I love her blue dyed hair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, what what's, what um, inspired this song, Honor You, Lord? Um, obviously, you did a great one on this one featuring Louis Fellingham. What inspired yeah, this song? Yeah, it was amazing to get Louis Fellingham involved with this song. And um, I went up to Manchester to produce it. Um, my friend Dan Sterling, he's done a lot of like the Rivers and Robots okay. and Chris Saber and A New Wine. Um, albums wow. and I went up to Manchester and he produced a song with me um, the songs inspired um, I wrote with my friend Matt Caddick um, we were worshipping around his house one evening and um, I felt like um, it was a couple of months before we came out of lockdown properly okay. you know yeah. as the rules were coming and um, we just felt God say that um, as we come out of lockdown we want to be writing a song that helps people to um, lift him up high and um, we were really focusing on the holiness of God and how awesome he is, how great he is, and how faithful he's been, even in the panic and doubt and fear. And, you know, there's been so many stories of, you know, fear and doubt, and yeah. um, there's been panic in the world. But um, we just wanted to help people, particularly as we're back to, a lot of churches are about singing now, even yeah. if, you know, it's actually distance with masks on, it's all very different. But, you know, we're, we, we wanted to lift God up at high again and say, you know, we honour you, Lord. And, um, it, you know, Psalm 29 says, honour the Lord, you heavenly beings, honour the Lord for your glory and strength mm. on the Lord for the glory of his name, worship the Lord in the splendidness of his holiness. And then um, that verse just really spoke to me. It was just like, yeah, we need to honor the Lord. We need to lift him up we high. Need to, yeah. We need to reclaim it. Even in a year that's been so hard, hard that, you know, such a sad year, um, such a, you know, a year of isolation, we need to be honoring God and lifting him up high as we come out. And, um, you know, that's the inspiration behind that song. And, um, yeah, it's been really cool to release that song. I'll be singing that, um, song. Uh, guys, I just want you to go and plug into this song. I'm sure it's on Spotify, it's on, on all the great, you know, retail stores. So please just show love. Uh, as we always say on this um, platform, we can mouth the word love and say, I love you and, you know, I want to support you. But action speaks louder than words and even faith without works is dead, right? So guys, I just want you right now to just go on your Spotify, your Deezer, on Apple Music, Amazon. Please just go and plug this song and tell someone about the song. As we always say, when you love something, why not tell somebody else? You know, don't don't be stingy. <laughs> share with someone <laughs> else, you know. So just share, go on his social network, go on Luke uh, Warham's um, social network and show him love. Let him, let him know as well. He needs to be encouraged as well. He needs to get some great feedback about this song, which I believe he's getting already. So please, you know, cloud his, his platforms and let him know that he's, he's loved right about now. And um, yeah, I, I met you on the stage, actually, yourself and, uh, and um, Rachel presenting an award to us. Two awards, actually. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you kept giving up for awards. Yeah. I was like, well, let me go see you guys. It was really amazing. It was a really great night, wasn't it? And, it was um, great. You know, it was so great to see so much great, um, you know, work going on in the, work, the Christian music and gospel worship scene, isn't it? It's just yeah. so great. And it was amazing people filled with the Holy Spirit, on yeah. fire for Jesus, just doing his kingdom work. And I, I love it. You know, it was a great night, wasn't it? Amazing. And the, the first main awards that we were going to come out to post-COVID. So coming out and seeing people, you know, we've lost some people as well, you know, over the, over the months and over the years. So to just see faces again, that was that was so wonderful. And you guys, you, I think you had two or three nominations as well. Yeah, um, we won two awards. We won um, oh. one. Oh. Yeah, we won two awards. We won one for um, Best Worship Duo. Best of, of the year, okay. And one for our song Shadows. Congratulations! Um, so it, it was really cool, and um, yeah, my first couple of awards. Really, I mean, I've won a few awards, but that was my first proper awards ceremony. Wow! Hanging out with cool people like you, and it was really <laughs> great to meet you. <laughs> wow, wow, that, 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 that's great. Um, I, I'll love you before we touch how you got, got to meet with Jesus Christ. We always love sharing that um, experience with people who are listening. We're blessed to have an audience uh, caught across the whole world so um even i noticed that you've done a, a, an interview with a low fm on heart song life before yeah, yeah. um i noticed and uh, this this um uh, interview will actually air on heart song life as well in scotland so it's gonna air to a lot of people uh, who is gonna enjoy what we what we're sharing so um it would be great to hear your experience and how you got to move jesus christ but before you do that i know you have many testimonies i can feel it in my bones that you're a man of testimonies can you just share one great thing that god has done for you i know that god has done so many things for you but just one thing one spectacular thing that god has done for you that you just want to shout about <laughs> well yeah in terms of songwriting and my songwriting journey so um i did a gap year um with worship central um they're like um 
they come up with a church in London called HGB and they write a load of worship songs as well. So they gap year with them. We were on a, I was on a gap year based in Cheltenham. Okay. We were in Cheltenham. And London, you know, a bit of Cheltenham. And I got a prophetic, there's a real, we did a lot of prophetic words with each other, but I got a prophetic word off um, uh, my friend Chloe. And um, it was a quite a like. You said um, Chloe, right? Chloe, her name was, yeah. Okay. It was a word that was really like, um, it wasn't like, it was just really, it was, it really spoke to me, but I didn't know what, what would happen, you know, what would happen. So I, on this bit of paper, I had written down um, one day you're going to write songs that will be on um, Soothing to the Soul. We'll go places other people can't go and we'll wow. help people with mental health issues and the songs will be soothing to the soul. Hmm. Secular radio. So I was on an American podcast um, last year and I'd only just started my songwriting journey. Okay. And um, I never, you know, as I said before, I was like, oh, should I release songs? I started releasing them and, you know, it's been really cool to release songs and to help people encounter Jesus. So I started releasing these songs. And this, this guy in America goes to me, um, I played your song on one of my podcasts, which was on a secular radio station. Okay. Yeah. And it was an, a place where people were um, sadly like um, thinking of committing suicide as a suicide war and people had mental wow. health issues. And he said, one of the people came up to uh, me afterwards and said, um, they listened to your song Whisper and it was soothing to the soul. Wow. And um, it really spoke to them. And that is just an amazing story of how God speaks to you. You know, Ooh. six years ago, I got that word. It's in, it's in my little journal. And then five, six years later, a song I've written in my bedroom wow. in Bristol <laughs> is going to America, Touching lives is, in America. <laughs> in a place where I would never ever be able to go in a place where there's such you know mental health and sadness going on and despair and it's done that and that word came to light five six years ago and God really you know it's amazing isn't it how God amen, speaks amen. and that he delivers and he he is always speaking to us and he's always you know do, using us for his glory yeah. and um, that's one of my an amazing story when I think to myself, if anyone tells me God doesn't speak to you, that is a, a it's a professor where literally written down, it would never happen. It's a really like, wow. I wasn't even writing songs at that time and all that kind of thing. And now it became true. So there you go. That's yeah. a little testimony. I, you call it a little, but I call it a huge yeah. testimony. Right. <laughs> and guys, I don't know if you noticed some things that Luke said there. He wrote the vision down. He has a little journal and he wrote the vision down. Remember what the word of God says? He said, write the vision down, make it plain. A lot of times, you know, God's word doesn't make sense to us because we're human, right? But we just need to obey. And all these things are Asian landmarks that we're not allowed to remove. And when we do them, when we practice them, they come to pass. It might take a while. The, the Word of God says, wait for it. Though it tarry, it will surely, that word surely there means it will definitely come to pass. And that is a testimony there. So please, if you don't have a journal, if you don't have a book, go and get, I have mine. I have minds, <laughs> minds, <laughs> as in like a number of journals <laughs> where, you know, I just write those visions down. And sometimes you even forget about them, but then you just open them and like, wow, it just brings the vision back to your mind. And God always brings it, it brings it pass, to pass. He's, he's a faithful God. How did you get to meet with Jesus Christ? I'm curious. Yeah, so, um, my parents have always run churches, so I'm 28 now, so I've been in the church for 28 years. So you're a pastor's child. <laughs> I'm a pastor's kid, yeah. Okay. And, um, you know, it's been really good to do that, and it's really helped my faith. And um, we've been involved. We've lived all over the country, really. I, I've, I've lived, you know, in five places. I, I actually don't think I've lived all over the place, but actually when I say it, it does sound like I have. So I've lived mm. quite a lot, you know, a lot of places. Wow. Um, when I was 11, I went to um, Soul Survivor and... Um, you know, I encountered Jesus for myself there with the Holy Spirit when we were worshiping Jesus in that tent, and uh, um, a load of my friends did that night as well. And that's a great event, that is, isn't it? Um, it's a youth yeah. event where thousands of young people come to encounter Jesus and to hear His Word. So I went there, and then I got baptized. I was about twelve. I got baptized, wow. and um, I haven't really looked back since. But there's been a few things. So I got baptized then. And as I said, I learned guitar so I could literally play in the worship band at church. And I used to just strum along in the background, not playing very well, mm. being singing a bit of backing vocals. And I always had a real heart desire to like be involved with church. And um, so I've been involved with church since. And there's been a few things like um, university. I got really stuck in with my CU and getting involved with church there. So that was really helpful and had some really close yeah. friends and they helped me on my journey. Yeah. So I'd really recommend anyone going to university, get stuck in with your Christian union mm. or surround yourself with other christians because that you know they are that is what you need you need to be with people who are got the same um you know same heart and the same passion yeah. as you and it really helps you and then i did this gap year of worship central um just after university and that was really fundamental because i kind of went to a different church away from my dad's church and served there mm. and we really grew in um listening to god hearing from god reading wow. our bible um 
growing in like yeah hearing from god and um really getting out of my comfort zone and um that was a really fundamental year in my faith and really helped me to like you know get closer to god and to know him really close and um yeah so that's what i've been doing and um i've got a real heart for young people and young adults particularly um i work as a youth worker for Bristol city council as my like main job wow and wow. Um, even though it's a Bristol city council job i really try and you know speak hope and love into their lives um they didn't realize it but i'm speaking you know hope and god's god's glo- <laughs> i love god's- that <laughs> But um, yeah, I I am really involved with like doing youth um, you know, youth groups for church at church, and um, I, I'm doing a young adults group. So I've got a real heart for that and helping like um, new Christian like people to like meet other Christians and to be able to fix eyes on Jesus and to journey together. Yeah. Um. So that's my real passion at the moment is to obviously write worship songs that help people to encounter Jesus, speak into people's everyday life situations, help the church to sing. Mm. But I've also got a real heart for, you know, young adults and young people and um, really getting alongside them and helping them in their journey and their passions to help them be the best they can be and to see them like God sees them. Wow. Wow. Isn't that amazing, guys? <laughs> I'm sure you're vibing to us, man. This is a wonderful... I, I don't even call this an interview. It's like a conversation, but like it's just so heartwarming and it's so reassuring as well that God loves us and he'll help us and he'll never leave us alone because Luke's life is, is, is evidence of that. And um, I remember seeing him on the stage, like you, yourself and Rachel, you were just, I think you had the, your guitar as well. Like you, you were just, you were just worshiping and like you, you could just see the calmness all over the room, all over the auditorium and, you know, we we're just like enjoying you. I was sitting on the table on um probably it would be on your right hand side far away and you could see straight away like people were talking and when you guys came on and you could just see the atmosphere change and people were like recording on their cameras and and what have you and people were worshiping as well and that, that's so amazing when you didn't even need to tell people like you know please stand up or please worship with us you could just see the spirit of god just taking over you know and that, that that's wonderful and it shows that you enjoy what you do you love what you do and i celebrate you my brother <laughs> thanks Pleasure. We need to speak about Whisper. Uh, that, that's a wonderful EP that, that you spoke about earlier that you did with your, your friend Rachel. Um, and actually, Whisper uh, came uh, as number 11 at the UK Christian Church. Yeah. Is, is that the single? Because uh, the, the, the single. Or the, yeah, the, the, single, the single Whisper came number 11 UK Christian Charts when they were doing it. And um, yeah, we released the whole EP and um, it's been really cool. I mean, the, the song, the actual EP came out right at the start of lockdown. Wow. Um, 20, um, which I actually wasn't planning, but actually the songs kind of whisper and shadows mm. do speak into people's lives in terms of, you know, in the shadows of my life and the trials, you know, he's already working it out, even the panic and doubt and things like that. So um, yeah, we released that song. And one of the really cool things that came out of that EP was that a lot of churches were using the lyric videos in their online services. Yeah, yeah. So we're all to lockdown and no one could, at that point, could record at home and mm. do that studios remember we're doing all that over lockdown and over zoom and but (laughs) actually but lyric videos are really helpful and they use the lyric videos in their services and you know releasing that ep at that time was hard because we couldn't do like an album launch or really do them live but it was really cool to see that virtually we could see see people worshiping to those songs and um you know uh, my friend ollie morris produced it and um it's not it's just a really um fun experience to release that first ep and um you know, actually, Whisper got no shadows on the EP. Got um, nominated for Hollywood in Music and Media Awards last year. I think I, um, I saw. I think got I saw that. For that. And that was a really cool experience. Wow. Um, that was all done virtually, but um, you know, um, my heart behind that whole EP was to write songs, as I keep saying, yeah. that speak into people's everyday life situations, that help people to focus on Jesus. Whether you're going through a really hard time or a really great time that songs that just you know you can sing in your car and you remember them i'm at work but actually you know god he's already working it out or learn we god you are strong in the shadows of my life through the trials that may come yeah i always yeah. write songs that you know you can just remember and be like i'm gonna sing that over my life sing that over mm. any situation amazing amazing man <laughs> I, I feel you my brother um also um was it number one at the louder than the music awards yeah, so that's really cool. Yeah, it's number one at the Louds and the Music Awards um, last, or well, 2020. Yeah. And that was a surprise. Um, yeah, so that was really amazing to see it get that. Wow. <laughs> and it's great, even though, as you said, you know, the aim and um, the whole purpose of writing the song, penning the song and recording is to touch lives, but it's always 
had to add, add full win. You know, you get some awards or people are feeling it or, you know, people are downloading it. It, it does it does help. It does inspire as well. It does encourage yeah, you to get back into the studio and even make more. Yeah, definitely, yeah. You always need encouragement. And I, I, a lot of songwriters I speak to and, if, you know, artists, they even when I look at them, they, even them, they need encouragement. Everyone sure. needs encouragement, don't they? Because no one actually thinks they're <laughs> amazing <laughs> at what they're doing. They're just trying the hardest. And, yeah. Um, yeah, so it's really good to encourage people. And that's what I try and do. And... Um, I'm a bit involved with A Step Forward, um, which yeah. is like the UK Christian gospel music scene. They do a lot for that. Yeah. And that, I really love those guys there because they do um, a lot of supporting and encouraging the UK Christian gospel music scene, particularly the UK, and they really want to cheer on those artists yeah. and help get the music out there. So I love those guys and I love their passion for, you know, encouraging people and, you know, getting behind people. Yeah, yeah. Dennis is doing a great job and the team, you know, they, they, they've been at, the, at this for quite a while and, you know, doing a great job, I must say. Uh, big up A Step Forward and um, Dennis and the whole team. Uh, you work with a lot of youth and I would just love to get your um, your thoughts on this. Uh, all over the world, you know, um, the youths matter. If you go to any country, if you can capture the youth, you've captured that country. The youth, they are the heartbeat of any nation. And um, you can see why the enemy is targeting the youth as well, true music and true um, the media uh, right, right, right about now. Um, a lot are just tired, you know, they get confused. Um, some, you know, commit suicide as, as you, you know, you know, working with so many people and um, seeing a lot of things, both at the council and even through your music as well. So you having Jesus Christ now and Jesus Christ making a difference in your life, what would you say to a youth or anyone listening right now who's tired and, and they just want to give up? Yeah, definitely. I feel like um, young people should have, you know, bigger aspirations and what they they can do in their lives. A lot of young people put themselves down. I don't think they can do much. But actually, you know, you're made in God's image. God created you. You've got so many um, talents, so many skills, so much going for you in the world. You can do whatever God's put on your heart. And um, I see it, you know, even with, as just, I said, Bristol Council with non-Christians, they got such low aspirations, but they just need to know God and God's made them and um, given them skills. And they need to, you know, young people need to know that, you know, you've got so much more. You've got a positive future. You've got hope. Yeah. There's hope. And actually, I feel like, you know, particularly there's hope. And actually, there's been a lot of like, there's a lot of comparison, isn't there, between young people and even us. You know, everyone compares that. But um, particularly young people on social media and they need to know, young people need to know that, you know, you've got so many skills, you've got so much going for you, you can achieve whatever you want to achieve. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, um, you know, um, I just want young people to be encouraged. And, um, you know, um, there's been a lot of um, well-being, mental well-being, particularly after COVID issues with young people. Yeah. And mental health is such a big problem among young, among young people. And it needs to be not really a taboo. It needs to be chatted about among young people, both in the church and outside the church. And, you know, encouraging them cheering them on, giving them the right um, support. And um, yeah, I, I say to a young person, you can achieve so much. You're, you're, you're amazing. And um, there's so much going for you and so much hope. And I just really pray that over the, next, the coming years, you'll know what God's put you on the earth for. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for that. Before we let you go, time has fast gone. I wish this would not end because I'm really enjoying it. Learning a lot as well from you. But um, if people want to connect with you on YouTube, I want to believe that you have some great videos. If they want to follow you on social network, if they want to invite you to events, if they want to connect with you, how, how best can they do that? Well, um, just type in Luke Wareham on all the socials and on Spotify, Apple Music, and I'm on there. And I'm, I'm really... Um, what, if you want chord sheets to better write, sing the songs in your church, if you want any um, videos, anything at all, just let me know. And um, I, I'd love to just help um, you use any of the songs and connect with you. And, um, yeah, I'm really up for um, yeah, helping you helping you to access anything you need from me. And, um, yeah, so on everything, really, so all the socials and all the um, music platforms. So please just go right now, you know, now faith that's what the bible says so now just go on twitter go on instagram go on facebook and please connect with luke warham he's a wonderful man of god who will inspire you and will, will help you um, well i always believe that we connect for a reason and the timing as well 
God is a master planner. So for you to be watching this right now, it means that there's we, we need to come into your life in a way, either through the music or either through this interview. So please grab the opportunity. And if you have any questions, pop them through to me, pop them through to Luke, and I'm sure that he'll get back to you ASAP. We played Refuge uh, just before the, the top of the half hour, but we're going to play out with Hono. You again, I love this song and uh, I love your music. Please just carry on doing what you do. Uh, as you're honoring the Lord through this song, God will honor you as well in Jesus' name. Thanks. Yeah, thanks so much for having me on your great um, show. Pleasure, pleasure. Yes. So guys, we're going to enjoy Honor You, Lord by Luke Warham that we played earlier featuring Lou Fellingham. And um, yeah, please just share with everybody the great things that you learned from this interview as well. Pop it through to people and connect with us. And I believe that with the grace of God, you will honor the Lord as well as we are honoring him right now. Let's enjoy this wonderful song. And um, yeah, we'll see you soon. God bless you and just keep on being blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. It's new to you. New music first. First. Sold FM. Shaggy Touch on Salt FM. <laughs> 